I want to just take a few minutes to tell you what you probably already are thinking. This election is one of the most serious, consequential elections we've had in a long time. It is for a number of reasons. The differences between the two parties are stark. Now, I believe the facts prove that our economy does better when we have a Democrat in the White House. And we saw that in the 1990s when my husband was president and 23 million new jobs and incomes went up for everybody. And then what happened? We reversed course. The Republicans came back with their failed economic policy of trickle-down economics. Ah, it deserves a lot of booze. When I was in the Senate, I was arguing and voting against these policies because I believed then it would reverse the economic progress we were making. We had a lot of work still to do here in Upstate and other places, but they got their way. Slash taxes on the wealthy, take their eyes off of the financial markets and the mortgage markets, and we know what happened. When President-elect Obama called to ask me to come to Chicago to talk about becoming Secretary of State, before we talked about the world and our challenges, he just looked at me and he said, it is so much worse than they told us. We were losing 800,000 jobs a month. Nine million Americans lost their jobs. Five million homes were lost. And $13 trillion in family wealth was wiped out. Now, why am I telling you this? Because I want you to remember it. I want you to know what the real different choices are. We have people running for president on the Republican side, led by Donald Trump. Oh. He's not the only one. He may be the most flamboyant. But they all want to take us back to trickle-down economics. And we cannot allow that to happen. We cannot. The most important economic issue in this campaign will be ensuring that we have a Democrat in the White House come next.